What's up boys and girls? Let's talk about New Year's resolutions. So, a lot of people make New Year's resolutions and I know we're a little late, but my resolution was to get it done anyway, so here I am. All right, let's talk about some of the resolution facts. About 45% of Americans make a resolution. Of this 45%, 37% of people say that they're going to exercise more, which is the most common resolution of the new year. However, about 22% of these people have already failed in the first week. And while you might have held out for the first week, about 60% of the 45% is gonna fail by June. So, I mean, don't get your hopes up too high. So what are you gonna do about it? Are you gonna take me getting me down? Or are you gonna prove me wrong? Are you gonna go out there and beat the 60%? I don't know, that's up to you. Ironically, the second most common New Year's resolution is to stop drinking or cut back on alcohol. And the reason this is ironic is because on New Year's Eve, 360 million bottles of champagne are opened. Just drink some juice or a energy drink, water, something else that's actually sustainable. The reason that people don't usually succeed in their resolution is because they lack a defined goal. Here is how you can succeed in creating a defined goal and achieving your New Year's resolution. Don't become a statistic. It's aggressive snapping and pointing. It works. Narrow down what you want to do. Define your goal. Instead of just saying, oh, I'm going to work out more this year. Well, what does that even mean? If you didn't work out at all last year, is going to the gym once gonna achieve your resolution? I don't think so. What you wanna do is narrow it down and say, I wanna go to the gym five times a week, three times a week, once a month. Cause then you know what you wanna do and you're able to do it. Enter Shia yes. Do it! Do it! Yes, you can! Next, what you wanna do is lower your expectations. We're all human. We can't go in like we're Superman to the gym the first day. So make sure that with your attainable goal, you make sure you're, you're actually able to do it and you're not pushing yourself and straining yourself. Make sure you consider your schedule, what will work feasibly for you and how you can maintain the motivation to keep going. And finally, the other tip we have is to hold yourself accountable. You can do this through bullet journaling, writing in a planner, setting reminders on your phone, but the one that I find most effective is telling someone that you trust who is going to hold you accountable. So telling a friend what you plan to do and then they can get on to you and be like, why aren't you doing what you said you were going to do? You're letting me down. And then you'll feel guilty and you'll have to go do what you said you were going to do. I mean, it's the best way to get something done. So I know this video has been a little dramatic, but it's, it's what I do. And I know that New Year's resolutions are hard, absolutely. So hopefully you just get some motivation and you keep going because you can do it.